secondary data collection methods what is secondary data collection secondary data collection involves the process of gathering information that is already available this data has been previously collected undergone necessary statistical analysis and is not owned by the researcher typically secondary data originates from primary sources and is later made accessible to the general public in simple terms secondary data is information that has been collected by third parties and is considered second hand researchers may either request others to collect this data or obtain it from existing sources this data is usually compiled and summarized to enhance the overall effectiveness of research Secondary data collection can be further divided into two categories qualitative secondary data collection and quantitative secondary data collection let's study them in detail what is qualitative secondary data collection secondary data can be both qualitative and quantitative qualitative data can be obtained through sources like newspaper diaries interviews and transcripts What is quantitative secondary data collection? Quantitative data can be gathered through surveys, financial statements and statistical records. Examples of secondary data collection. Newspapers. Newspapers have been a reliable source of secondary data for centuries, covering economic, educational, political and specialized topics. journals and blogs journals and blogs are popular examples of secondary data sources they are regularly updated with journals being more authentic due to periodic updates podcasts podcasts have become a common source of secondary information offering discussions and interviews on various topics other examples of secondary data collection sources include letters books government records and columns examples of internal sources for secondary data some examples of internal sources for secondary data include sales reports financial statements customer information for example names ages contact details company information reports and feedback reports and feedback from dealers retailers and distributors management information systems examples of external sources for secondary data collection external sources for secondary data collection include government censuses for example population census agriculture census information from other government departments for example social security tax records business journals social books business magazines libraries the internet where a vast amount of knowledge on various topics is readily available methods of secondary data collection some common methods of secondary data collection include government and non-government organizations Organizations and individuals can access important data and information that is stored by both government and non-government organizations such as business development centers, government printing offices and census bureaus. Internet. The internet is one of the most popular and readily accessible sources of secondary data. It offers a wealth of data at the click of a button, making it one of the best platforms for collecting secondary data. While much of the information is free, some websites may charge fees, although these are typically low. However, it's important to be careful of inauthentic and unreliable sources of information. Public libraries Copies of studies, open access documents and statistical data are kept in public libraries. Libraries frequently offer large collections of periodicals such as market statistics, company directories and newsletters 
despite the fact that services may differ. Commercial information First hand knowledge on market research, political agendas, economic developments, and demographic segmentation can be obtained from commercial information sources, including radio, newspapers, televisions, and magazines. Educational institutions Universities, in particular, do extensive research and have a variety of primary data that can serve as an important information for secondary research. How to carry out research with secondary data collection sources? Identify the topic of research. Define the research topic and its attributes. Clearly state the purpose of the research. Narrow down information sources. Identify relevant data sources that pertain to the research topic. Collect existing data. Access data from these identified sources collecting all existing data related to the research. Check for duplication. Before assembling the data into a usable format, ensure that there is no duplication or redundancy in the collected data. Analyze the data. Analyze the collected data to determine if it answers the key questions necessary to meet the research objective. Pros of secondary data collection methods Availability More secondary data is readily available from various sources. Cost effective When compared to primary methods, secondary data collection is less expensive because it requires less money to obtain data from reliable sources. Evaluation of primary research Data collected for secondary research can provide insights into the effectiveness of primary research allowing businesses to hypothesize and evaluate the cost of primary research. Fresh perspective. Re-evaluating data from another person's point of view can uncover overlooked details, potentially leading to the discovery of new features or solutions. Time efficient. Since data doesn't have to be collected from the original source, secondary data collection takes less time this significantly reduces data collection time compared to primary methods. Longitudinal and comparative studies It is easier to conduct longitudinal and comparative studies with secondary data as researchers can compare data from different time periods without waiting for new data to be collected. Cause of secondary data collection methods Credibility of sources the credibility of secondary data sources is often under scrutiny and research can be compromised if authentic and credible information is lacking. Lack of timelines The majority of secondary data sources might not provide most recent research, publications or statistics. Accurate data does not always imply up-to-date data. Quality depends on primary research. An important factor in the effectiveness of secondary research is how good and reliable the original primary research was. Conclusion Secondary data is valuable in statistics, business and research, often chosen due to financial constraints, availability, research requirements or time constraints. It may sometimes be the only data available and in such cases, the ability to think critically and analyze scenarios becomes essential to collect authentic and relevant data and find solutions to meet research objectives. Thank you for watching this video.